قصيفة سفير بابوف شكرا على الاستضافة مرة أخرى وأرحب بزملائي الجدد في هذا المنتدى من أجل رؤية جود Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad to be uh, at uh, the meeting of the group again, and I welcome here uh, both uh, uh, colleagues we know and uh, new colleagues. In the words of the great uh, uh, journalist who wrote uh, the script for a movie, Terrorist, called, called Terrorist. Back then, many used to think that uh, terrorism has only social reasons and uh, social a uh, social context um, but today we see that uh, the origins of terrorism are wider and broader than just um, the social conditions uh, there is also such a reason as lack of understanding for many principles uh, and values of islam for example in france uh, French young people oh no that uh, young people from France uh, are now traveling to Syria to engage uh, in uh, this war against the Syrian government in the name of Islam uh, they join the so-called ISIS and there are several reasons for that namely that the European countries uh, don't suffer the kind of economic uh, difficulties that we have in Arab countries uh, but at the same time young people there do get brainwashed uh, by certain media outlets I've experienced that myself uh, when visiting France recently there are mosques in uh, French cities uh, there are prayer houses um, for Muslims in French cities but uh, but uh, uh, French uh, youngsters get paid uh, uh, 1800 euros for joining ISIS both male and female and it's not always uh, it's not always disenfranchised young people from France and other European countries who join ISIS uh, they're not always driven by social inequality so why is it that they decide to join a terrorist group fighting a legitimate government in Syria or in Iraq there is a very important problem which is primarily rooted in uh, the brainwashing of the young by extremist ideologues this uh, this activity this propaganda is uh, very evident in social media such as facebook and others where extremist ideology is spread so we should not only worry about uh, these terrorist groups but also about their supporters who aid and abet them there are in fact tens of thousands of supporters of these terrorist groups who don't engage in military action in hostilities as such but they do provide support to terrorist groups uh, both by way of uh, financing them or promoting their message in social media or on broadcast uh, in broadcast media this all serves to attract and mobilize new recruits uh, to ISIS and uh, and also attract investment and attract sponsors sponsors this is a very important issue primarily financial support for terrorist groups indeed money is the the engine for the uh, the um, underlying reason for many of the problems that we have uh, in uh, the middle east right now the Islamic State is retreating, being hard-pressed by 
the Russian Air Forces, um, which have undermined its uh, clout in Syria, but the fight is far from over. Political struggle is underway, it continues in Syria, and there are various forces and parties, some of them would like to see the Middle East uh, continue to be engulfed by this fire of terrorism and extremism. Primarily it is the countries who supported in creating ISIS. And even if we defeat ISIS, uh, there will still be the Al-Nusra Front and other groups. Now, media alone would not be capable of defeating terrorism, but they can play a role. It requires solidarity from both media, civil society, NGOs, uh, society activists uh, all over the world, including Russia. All kinds of stakeholders who can contribute to improving the situation. We can say that uh, the Islamic world is not uh, the only victim of these terrorist groups. The entire world is a victim. But there are also other forces that are trying to destabilize our region. They are effectually commercializing Islam and its ideas, turning them, to them into a destructive weapon. So we must oppose extremism not only in its military context but also in its ideological dimension. Russia has been waging a war with military means against uh, Islamic State but um, we know that uh, terrorist activities and operations are largely directed and, and orchestrated in Syria by Saudi Arabia. Therefore we must take action to weaken our enemies but also uh, besides fighting terrorists as such we must also fight ideas we must challenge their ideas and uh, contest the hearts of mind the hearts and minds of the young uh, in combating extremist ideology we need to work out a certain strategy as regards ideo uh, ideological um, ideological efforts we should offer our proposals and devise a strategy for combating extremist ideas in the press with our writing as journalists, but we will also need support from the government, from countries such as Russia, from lawmakers who would uh, pass legislation to outlaw digital media that support extremist groups or, viol or promote violence. S several countries such as Kuwait for example they have uh, adopted uh, laws such as the the law in Kuwait which is uh, being applied and implemented very 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 ardently. To uh, to check the activities of those who try to incite belie uh, religious believers against others. We also need to be aware of the UN Security Council resolution that, um, uh, that uh, calls upon considering states that support terrorists uh, as terrorists themselves. Unfortunately, we still have to go a long way. But we should look at the practice uh, used by the United States uh, uh, that, uh, that may proclaim uh, a certain country a rogue state, uh, some kind of a criminal. So we very much need support in opposing this destructive ideology. We need solidarity. Thank you.